Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about the mourners and groaners about living in Thailand. I read nearly every day about people mourning and groaning about the Thais not making it welcome for foreigners to live over here. Um, if I can give my two pennies worth with regard to living in Thailand, I love living here. I've never ever felt unwelcome here. Yes, the immigration has made it a little bit more difficult to live here. There's a few more hoops that you have to jump through. Um, I had to go visit immigration six times for my marriage visa, but now that I've got it, fingers crossed, it should be fairly simple to renew it every year. For those people who, who complain about how the rules are made tougher here, I would suggest looking at the Border Force videos on YouTube with regard to England. How many people's homes, how many businesses they raid every single day in England. How life is difficult for anybody that wants to settle in England. If you think it's difficult here, just look at the border force agencies in England. What they do on a daily, daily basis. It's a piece of cake living here once you look at other people's immigration processes. And I'm sure it's the same in America. Anybody that wants to retire to America, it's ridiculous what you have to go through, the processes that you have to go through. So why shouldn't Thailand tighten up its immigration process? It doesn't make me feel unwelcome here. I've never had a Thai person telling me to go home, but I've had plenty of, of Falang who turn around and say, if you don't have 800,000 baht in the bank, Thailand doesn't want you, go home. In my previous videos, I show that I can live on 50,000 baht a month very, very easily here. I've had fairly constant messages from other people who are living on 30 to 40,000 baht per month here. Okay, it's a different lifestyle living on 40 or 50,000 baht a month compared to 100,000 baht a month. But I live in a wonderful area. My lifestyle is far better here living on 50,000 baht a month than it ever would be in England. I feel safe here. The crime is next to zero where I live, here in Chakpong in Thailand. So I would suggest anybody about if you want to live a fairly good life here, on a, not a lot of money, come to Thailand. Come and give it a go. Yes, there's some more hoops that you have to jump through, but majority of these hopes are easy to get through and um, for instance the OA visa insurance there's ways and means around that where you don't need to have compulsory insurance where you have to show a, a pension a pension provider from England rather than rental money coming from your house properties or your investments and things like that. There are ways and means how you can provide the immigration office with a pension letter, even though you're getting your pension that you're paying yourself via house rentals. They, they won't accept house rental money for um, proof of pension, but there are ways and means around that, that you can provide them with a pension letter. Okay, it's a few more little hoops to jump through, but if you think living in Thailand is worth it, it's worth jumping through all of them hoops. Again, my um, recycle method, there's a number of people using that with regard to showing the 65,000 baht, but they don't need 65,000 baht to live on. There are agents in Thailand that will be able to get you a visa. Basically, you no know, matter what visa you want, they'll be able to get you one, no problem. Okay, it might cost a little bit more nowadays, but they'll still be able to get you one. We live in a land where anything is possible here, if you have the money to be able to do it. And as far as cheap living is concerned, Thailand is still one of the cheapest places to live in the world. Okay, the BART has gone down a little bit over the past two or three months. Let's hope it continues to go down over the next four or five months. For instance, for me living here, compared to when we left for Brexit, I'm £300 a month worse off now than what I was before Brexit. But I can still afford to live here. And hopefully one day when the pound regains its strength after we finally leave the European Union, life should be a little bit more simple here to live here. 
But if anybody wants any questions, I'm more than happy to give you any answers that I can give you with regard to living in Thailand. Come to live in Rayong. Send me an email if you want to know any more details. We have access over to 20 houses and flats and apartments in the Chakpong, Lime Pim and Banpe area. It's a lovely area to come and live in. So, from Les, still living the dream in Thailand. Until the next time, bye for now.